So we're here at MakerCon with Jesse, who's the maker advocate for Autodesk. Jesse, what are you guys doing here? We, uh, well, one, we're a huge fan of Makers. We've been involved with Maker Faire for about four years now. And at MakerCon, we're really showing off some of our new technology and some of the ways that we really feel like we're going to be able to shape uh, the next hardware startups, you know, and the next people creating cool projects. So what do you have here? So this is awesome. This is actually a perfect idea of where we're going with our CAD software. So it used to be that to make this shape or to make anything with a straight contour like this, you would really have to use like a handful of products, right? You'd have to use one that got every all the measurements right. You'd have to use another one to try to get all the cool shapes in it. Then you'd have to use a third one to go out to a CAM software so you could cut it out. Um, and now we've actually taken it and made it so it's all one. So it's a product called Fusion 360. It's free. It basically, it allows you to make those parametric measurements. And then on top of it, it allows you to like warp and bend stuff. So if you look at like all the cool little like chamfers and bends and all these weird molds, it's all created with that software in an easy, like I grab it and push it and pull it type of way. And then from there in the software, you can send it to a CNC machine. So you can just stay the whole time in your design you know, headspace and not have to leave to go navigate 10 different softwares and UIs. So is it aimed at beginners, intermediate, advanced? Um, it's kind of aimed at the intermediate crowd, okay. right? So these are the people that are the product designers, the people that are really going to get involved with a project um, and want to try to make money with it or something like where they would want to take it to an injection molder. Uh, there's a lot of advanced features in it, so you can do hinging, you can do you know, fillets, you can do everything that you'd need to do for injection molding, you know, the whole gamut of manufacturing. Now, I know there's a lot, when it, when it comes to doing CAM, when you're figuring out, and you're using a particular digital fabrication tool, there's a lot that you need to, that the software needs to be aware of in terms of that tool. Uh, are there are particular tools that you've targeted with the software? Totally. So we're looking at it as full of, like, it's full of simulation software as well. So when we're building something like a guitar, or even better, a chair, like we're putting things into this so that we can have stress tests involved with it, so that you know as you're designing live if it's going to support the weight. And if you need to change your design, or if you need to iterate very quickly to, say, do mold flow analysis or something like that. Um, so we're really embedding that all into one interface so that you're one product design code. Great. All right. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you.